as rockets from Gaza have continued to explode in southern Israel over the past few days, the United States and Israel continue to hold their largest ever joint military drill. The exercise, codenamed Austere Challenge 12 and hosted by Israel, is aimed at improving the combined fighting capabilities of the two countries. Officials have said the latest attacks from Gaza will not have a bearing on the drill. As I've said before, AC-12 exercises uh, between our two militaries, and it's been two years in the making. Undoubtedly, the exercise scenario was clearly driven by the overall situation in the Middle East, but, and I must stress this, it is not related to any specific current events in the region. According to the U.S. military, around 3,500 U.S. officers and men are participating alongside 1,000 troops from Israel. Soldiers have spoken of camaraderie at the joint Israel-U.S. cooperation. We, you know, coordinate and pass along a lot of information that we can't talk about, but I will say uh, I'm glad that I've got to meet her and the rest of the Israeli partners. Her being a battery commander and myself being a battery commander, we have a common bond and goal. And uh, we love our troops, so I think at the end of the day, we want to make sure that they're trained and taken care of, and that's what we do. The U.S. military will spend about 30 million U.S. dollars and the Israeli military contributing nearly 8 million U.S. dollars on the exercise that will continue for a further two weeks and whose relevance has only been heightened by recent events.